be present with the Lord. But he said, I'm also, for your sake, I'm happy to be here. Amen. Because there are purposes, there are things to be accomplished. And, uh, and, and that's a, you know, it's a win-win situation. Can everybody say win-win? Win-win. You know, we, we have entered into a time in uh, uh, our experiences of life when, um, you know, don't, um, let me just say it like this. Don't be carried away with the things that's going to take place around you. You're going to see some, you're going to see some things that, that's going to blow your mind <laughs> and it can take you into a negative place of spiritual existence. And you can begin, you know, like when you see, and, and I, I, I don't want to talk about it, but I got, but you know, you, you, you see it every day when you see, like today we hear about the guy out in Graham uh, who killed his five kids and himself. When you hear, uh, when, when, when it's yesterday, a young man went berserk and killed three policemen in Philadelphia. Amen. What long ago when four policemen was killed down in Oakland, California. Uh, you had a, a young man, um, was it, you know, decapitated his five-year-old sister. <laughs> uh, Tag or learn that everything clear is not a free walkway. <laughs> Amen. But, you know, uh, so, so you can see all of these things, and if you're not careful, they can get into your spirit. You, you know, you have to be careful with what and who you let plant seed in you. Because what is planted in you is going to come back. And you also have to be careful with what seed is planted, what seed you plant into other people's spirit, because you're going to get that back. So, uh, oh, church, I tell you, that's a powerful principle. The seed that you plant, you're going to get it back. Won't be long before you're going to, if you have set, if you have planted seed of hope, seed of rejoicing in somebody else's life, it won't be long before you're going to get that back. Amen. I tell you, uh, 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 Sister Sheila, just hearing you pray, I'm talking about, I don't care how down I was. I came up then because you said some things you didn't even know you were saying them. But you took me to heaven. Jesus. You took me to heaven. I've been to heaven this morning. And it wasn't you, Praise it was God. the Spirit of the it's Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of the Lord. Because, because of some things that has been planted into your spirit, and all you do is now that fruit comes back with nothing but a praise. And, 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 and church, everything that you have planted is coming back. Amen. And so that I say that to say, you be careful who you who you let plant stuff into your spirit. Sometimes it's not good to look at the news. Amen. Because the news is nothing but a sensationalization of Hollywood. Amen. All it is, you know, uh, 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 sex, murder, and mayhem. That stuff sells. Amen. So they're going to put it out there in front of you because it gets your adrenaline up and you want to buy it. Amen. Um, so you have to be careful. Uh, you all have heard me say before, how many times have you been uh, sitting in your house with your door, with your windows unlocked, your doors unlocked, amen, on a Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and peace is just, you know, has prevailed, you know, pre peace has prevailed in your, in your environment. But then, America's Most Wanted come on. And you see the first episode. <laughs> And you get up and lock your door. <laughs> you check your window. <laughs> you make sure because what 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 is what happened? Why you change so quickly? Because somebody planted something into your spirit. You allowed them to do that. Now maybe you should have had your door locked all the time, but you know, but you did. And 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 so uh, is what they say about the dogs that the dogs can sense when somebody is afraid of them or fear uh, you know don't be afraid don't be afraid and, and that's a, a simple message that I can encourage you today is don't be afraid it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what is what, a, what is going on around you the appearance do not be afraid only trust in the Lord you got to say this all the time. You got to plant this seed in your own spirit. I trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord. I, I trust, trust in the Lord. Lord. Because if you trust in Wall Street, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> if you trust in 
I'm talking about anything that is flesh, it is going down. I trust in the Lord. And you'll find out that even when times when it look like you're going to be totally defeated, God's going to come through in the nick of time. Amen. And he's going to turn your fear and trepidation into a praise. And you're going to say, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Because, because it's easy to get into this place of, of, you know, I don't know how I'm going to get out. I don't know how I'm going to make it through. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you got to be able to say, I know in whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I can ask and think. I trust in the Lord. Can we say that? I trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Yeah, that's right. Church, you got to say it. Because the word of prophecy is where? In Amen. thy mouth. You've got to say it. Amen. I believe, therefore I speak. Amen. First, uh, 2 Corinthians 4.13. You got to, let me tell you, you just don't know how blessed you are. Being as young as you are, amen, and hearing what you hear. <laughs> you know, you got to say it. When you can say it, God, amen, what you do is, is <clears throat> when you say it, what you know, let me tell you, let me just say it like this. A lot of things that are in the natural is nothing but a portrayal of things that are taking place in the spiritual. Now, one of the one of the blights on, uh, you know, in the in the in the in the, in the natural world is everybody talking about unemployment, unemployment, unemployment. Do you all know that there's a high unemployment rate in heaven? You know why? Because the angels are waiting for you to employ them. And you got your, your and you to put your angels on the unemployment line. When you say it, you actually release the angels to go to work for you. And here the angels are sitting down in the unemployment. The Bible says that the angels of the are encamped around about you. And all you got to begin to do is speak the promises of God. Hallelujah. I'm the head and not the tail. Even though you might be low enough to go up or crawl up under an earth rug, you say, I'm the head and not the tail. You, you, know, you put the angels into full battle array. You put all of them on their, amen, livery and uniforms, and they go to work. To make you what? The head and not the tail. The head and not the tail. So you all say, preachers, you can take that. I don't even feel like hearing that today. I don't care what you feel like. <laughs> it's the truth anyway. You done put the angels in the unemployment line. Employ the angels of the Lord today. Amen. Put them to work. Speak the word of the Lord. Speak the promises of God. Amen. When God says, say that you are rich, you say that I'm rich. When God said, say that you are strong, say that you are strong. Amen. And you employ the angels of the Lord. Please do not put them you know, please do not grieve the spirit of grace, the spirit of truth. You say what God said. Say it boldly. Say it definitively. Because you know what? The opposite is true. Do y'all know that?